Welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a new L13 Yoga ThinkPad. Now these ThinkPads are very very good for on-the-go work and stuff like that. They're heavy duty since they are ThinkPad from Lenovo. I've been using ThinkPad for over 10 years now and ThinkPad are really good devices. I wanted a, a laptop with a touch screen and a, um, a nice illuminated keyboard and uh, I purchased this to, to do some on the go work and I will be showing you how to set it up. Alright so first of all we are going to uh, spin the computer this way put it on its face we're gonna open the seal over here you can use scissors I'm just gonna use this Be careful not to scratch the bottom. Nice. Only comes with a charger, USB C charger, 65 watt in case you guys need to replace that in future or anything. Let's plug that in. Let's get that plugged in over here very slowly. All right, now let's start this setup. All right, let's get it turned on. The power button's on the right side over here. I don't know if you can see the luminate, the keyboard luminates. Lights up underneath. Now this video is similar to the steps that I've inputted. I will put a link up here, you will see it. Um, let's click on yes. If you're in the UK, you can click on UK. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, potential Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready. You can mute Cortana for now by clicking on the, the icon below over here. Okay, so we're gonna choose of course United States. That's where I am. The keyboard layout, I'm going to um, input United States. You can add keyboards from other countries, but this keyboard part is the, the way of your keyboard is the keys. Now my keys are uh, Q-W-E-R-T-Y, which is the basic, but in some countries, the keyboard layout is different. So you can choose from the list over here um, what your keyboard layout is. Most of those laptops sold in the United States are the US layout. All right, we can add more layouts. Like for example, if you want to add other language, uh, maybe German, Spanish, uh, Arabic, Hindi, you can add it over here. So I'm gonna skip that for now. All right, so on this page, this is where you connect to your wireless network connection. You can choose from any of those over here. Uh, of course, the name of your SSID should show up over here. Then you click on it and then you put in your password. Now I'm going to choose I don't have an internet connection. Now for those of you who wants to sign on without a uh, an email address if you don't have one with Microsoft or you just simply don't want to connect your phone with your Microsoft account you can click on I don't have internet and the reason why is I for, for me I like to do it the old-fashioned way uh, with just a normal username and password to access my computer so I will click I don't have internet uh, rather than clicking on uh, my any of my Wi-Fi connections over here and whatnot so um, I'm gonna click on I don't have internet so I will sign into my uh, so I can create a local account and sign on to it for those of you who want to sign this on um, an enterprise account you can also do it that way and then get it connected to the servers but in my case I'm gonna click on I don't have internet I'm gonna use this uh, personally Okay. now um, over here it's uh, asking you if you want to unlock all these features I'm going to click on continue with limited setup I would like to have the power over my computer not the computer have the power over me all right so it's asking me for my name and then click next it's asking me to create a password I'm going to confirm that password. You can 
put input any password you want. Over here is your security questions in case you forget your password. Click on this drop down menu, click whatever question suits you and give them the answers. And then when you're done, you're just going to click on next. All right, so after clicking next, it's going to ask you to, if you want to sign on using your fingerprint. Um, I myself want to uh, set it up later, but you can set it up right now by clicking on setup down below and putting your finger on the reader right here a few times. You can follow the instructions this way. If you need help recording that, I will make a video specifically for setting up the fingerprint reader. And it is just so you can uh, put your finger on it and then it will sign on to the computer without the hassle of writing the password. All right, so let's skip for now. Over here, it's asking you if you want to do more across the activity on, you know, the Microsoft account so you can connect all computers together. And I don't want to do that. Over here, it's asking you to get digital assistance from the computer like Cortina, uh, schedulers and stuff like that. But you can do that manually whenever you want. It will start to annoy you if you just set it up all one time. So it's better to set it up one step at a time. So let's decline that for now. All right, over here are the questions for, of course, Microsoft. Now, I don't want any online speech recognition. Um, I don't want to find my device. Um, I will set that up later if I want. It's a security feature, just like, you know, on the iPhone or the Samsung. If it gets lost, you can find your device. But it only works when it's connected to the wireless. Uh, so if they, you know, reformat the computer, and this feature will be useless then. Unless they connect it to the internet, and if you didn't put a password, and then they start working on the computer without reformatting it or deleting your stuff. So I'm going to turn off this feature for now. Typing, no, put that off. Advertisement, no, I don't want them to advertise. Get low, I don't want them to get my location. I don't want to send any diagnostic data to Microsoft and Tailroad Experience. I don't want that, so I'm gonna accept. All right, so over here, it's asking to protect your device, it's just so you can register your device for uh, to the services of Lenovo, and I don't want to do that right now. And of course, here's Cortina again. Um, it says uh, we're almost done, and this will take a little bit after. All right, guys, I'm gonna fast forward, fast forward this video, and uh, we'll get back to continue the setup of this computer. If you guys enjoyed this video so far and it helped you out, please consider subscribing to our channel. We put random how-to tutorials every once in a while, and to show you how to set up stuff easily and efficiently. Alright, so there you have it. So right now, for those of you who did not connect to the internet, we can connect to the internet right now. Your internet over here and just get it connected to. Alright, so after connecting to the internet, we are going to change the time. I'm in Eastern time and it seems like it gave me a Pacific time. So I'm going to right click and then adjust date and time. And then go to time zone and change it to Eastern time. So I'm going to go down below. Now this is Easter Island, so don't mix that up. So we're going to go to Eastern Time, if you're living in my time zone. If you're in Pacific, California, just keep it in Pacific. Or if you're in Central Time, you can change it to Central Time over here. So I'm in Eastern, let's choose Eastern, and then set time automatically. This way, it will just sync immediately after changing the time zone to Easter. Now, if this works, all you have to do is, even if this is turned on, just go directly to it and change it to uh, whatever time zone you're at. Now, let's exit out of here. Second thing we are going to do over here, I'm going to put my icons on my desktop, my favorite icons, by going to Personalize. Then I'm going to click on Themes. And I'm going to go scroll down over here. 
desktop icon and I like to have my computer and user files on the desktop so I can access them easily whenever I need it. Click apply, click on OK, okay and exit. Now of course there's no PDF on this computer, there's no other uh, software, you know, tools and stuff like that. I'll be putting a link up here and you can uh, see what I did in the other setup in my other video how to get all of the necessary programs that you want fast and easy. Now I will also put a link in the description below uh, for that uh, website. Okay, now I'm going to just show you a few simple features I like about this Lenovo. Let me put the camera back over here. So a few features that I like, keyboard lights illuminate. So if you click on function with the space bar over here, it lights on. And if you click once or twice, you see that uh, the more you click the more it gets higher so that's a, a good feature I like and I'm going to show you another feature why it's called yoga I'll show it to you in a second over here the yoga go part means I can turn this from a laptop to a tablet by spinning it this way don't be afraid all the way back and then it changes into a tablet it asks me if I want to change it into tablet mode. No, tablet mode, you should always have it on, always ask before switching. And the reason why is because if you don't know how to switch it back to normal mode, which I'm going to show you in a second, um, it, it's, uh, it, it's going to give you a problem. It's going to get stuck on tablet mode if you don't know how to change it back to normal mode. So I want it to always ask me before switching and this is how tablet mode looks like now if you want to do it manually like if mistakenly you got it stuck on normal mode or vice versa all you have to do is get this option window over here which is a notification area then just uncheck tablet mode or, or click it back on so this is how tablet mode works this is the button right over here or you can do that in in settings and of course it comes with a camera and you, and uh, what I like about this you can rather than putting tape over that camera you can just I don't know if you see this but there's a little button over here that you can cover the camera and of, don't worry upside if you take it upside down you'll see the the keyboard now the keyboard is going to be disconnected uh, from the computer when you are using so if you mistakenly click any buttons it's okay now guys I hope this video helped you out please consider subscribing to our channel and um, follow subscribe again and share and if there's any questions leave everything down in the comments below see you again next time